let's talk about expressionist illustration. Compared to the traditional realistic style, expressionist illustration focuses more on human subconscious. The expressionist approach allows greater imagination and subconscious spiritual communication, which is completely different from the realistic approach. This illustration type requires viewers to associate with work and to feel the atmosphere with subjective sense. The work we see was created on a sketchbook by the designer or artist. He put together a lot of fragmented images, which has a strong pattern feeling. Let's first look at the Superman-like image in the lower left corner. Parts of his body was drawn with a fountain pen, showing the volume of muscles. His hands are collage. One is a picture of a hand, and the other is an image of a horn from an animal. And then his face is also partly done with photographs. There was a pair of pilot glasses and a gun aside. We seem to be able to feel a hand coming from the side. It's possible for us to have subjective imaginative possibilities and this is the greatest feature of expressionist illustration the next to this piece it used to be an intact headshot the artist split the picture into lots of strips then interspersed and stitched in this way the piece comes alive in a way that photos seem to be sliced also, some of the text is presented in a collage style. They were cut into small pieces and then collaged. That makes us associate. It's like a threatening letter we often see in American movies. Or something we use to threat others. That's what I would think of. And the way he cuts the character's head apart really indicate a horrible feeling. Look at this piece. It is graffiti on a sketchbook. The collage in this piece is different from the previous ones. The former ones was cut by scissors and the edge was neat. And this one was torn by hand and appears a good looking edge. In this way, Vividness was increased in the picture, and this is the biggest strength of this piece. Also, he used colored pencils. Most of the time, we think using colored pencils correctly is related to how evenly the color is applied, but not in this work. What the designer wants is the state produced by brushes, the breathing state, which becomes the greatest strength of this work. Take another look at the piece below. Some may ask, is this an illustration? I think so. This piece is a combination of images and words. You see there are a lot of well-organized lines interspersed throughout the picture. They are combined perfectly. The text is fully integrated into the language of this image, which is a very obvious feature of Expressionism. The two pieces below, one on a white paper, is painted with a very thin layer in acrylic. We can see that the texture of strokes is very obvious. That's the effect of overlapping strokes. The picture is very simple and clean. Two people against the light, the light coming in through the doors. The artist also did some details, which is that he sketches the whole picture in red pencil, which gives the picture a rich color. Then this piece is very loosely drawn. And the animals are very theatrical. The painting is more for the viewer to feel. We don't necessarily need to understand what he's painting, but we can feel that his relaxed state, his cocky state. Let's look at this one. Is this one a crocodile or a human? We don't bother to pursue the truth. What we feel is that a monster is biting its own hand. And then the whole picture is in the same state as the previous one. With absolutely no sense of meaning to draw evenly, 
The author is all about taking advantage of uneven brushes. The one next to it is thickly painted and in a completely different stage than the one before. One is transparent in texture, and the other is mottled. The colors piled up to form a shadow-like feeling. Now this piece is an architectural illustration or a sketch. We can't see the details of the building, but we can see sense of complex. What the windows and doors look like, we can't go into it, but we can sense the atmosphere of these buildings and the artist's understanding of colors. The colors are strong. There are dark and red colors jumping around, and light yellows appearing in the picture. The whole picture is outlined in brown, and you will see the artist working freely. So now, look at these two pieces. The robot is very light-hearted. We can see the lines, the circles, and the texture of the brush on the paper is very important in the work. Then this work is also about architecture. The middle one was a radiant Colosseum-like Roman building, and there are a low house below. The relationship of these curved lines work as a visual guide, and giving the whole picture a sense of power and a very, very strong character.